Have you meditated today? Have you gratitude journaled? Have you done your push-ups? Did you wake up at 4 a.m.? Doesn't matter. Let me tell you why it doesn't matter. I have heard so many self-improvement nerds, entrepreneur guys, fucking gurus on the internet telling you, you have to do this to be successful. If you don't do these five things every day, you'll never be successful, you'll never make money. If you don't quit drinking alcohol, if you don't stop watching porn, if you don't start taking cold showers and waking up at 4 a.m., you'll never be successful. None of this shit matters. Let me explain to you why it doesn't matter. First and foremost, you must understand human psychology. Humans hate uncertainty. We hate going down a path and not knowing where it leads. We hate not having confirmation that what we're doing is going to get a certain result. We hate that. We like to have certainty. We like to believe that, okay, if I do this, it's going to result in this. We love that feeling. It's very, very nice. It's very comforting. So if I came on the camera and told you, you must watch every single one of my videos. You must do these five things that I tell you to do. So you remember me when you're doing them. Again, that's just benefiting me, right? And then you'll be successful. But if you don't do them, if you don't listen to me, if you don't do these five things, if you don't meditate and cut out alcohol forever and delete social media and stop taking hot showers, you'll never be successful. Bullshit. All bullshit. Remember this key phrase I'm going to tell you right now. There, I'm the only YouTuber speaking about this shit. No one else is going to tell you this. No one. Because it hurts the views. It hurts the retention rate. It hurts the, the connection they have to the fans because the fans are loyal, dedicated tribe members of their YouTube channel. It's embarrassing. You're fully grown men looking up to another human being as if he's a god. Get a fucking grip of yourself. There is no set way of being successful. Remember that phrase. There is no set way of being successful. You can decide that for yourself. I just made £10,000 in one month as of the time recording this video, November 2023. A couple of months ago, maybe two months ago, three months ago, probably a bit more before that, four months maybe I'd say, at an estimate, I had minus £100 in the bank account. Funny, innit? Overnight success really wasn't. Let me tell you how I've done that. The past month of November, it's pretty much coming to the end of the month now, I'm recording this on the 22nd, I believe it is today, already made 10k. I haven't even worked as hard as I could. Could have worked every single day if I wanted to and made fucking 20k. I spent the last month partying, boozing, eating Domino's pizza, waking up late, having hot showers, <laughs> not meditating, right? And to be clear, I did do productive things as well. I did spend a lot of time meditating. I did wake up at 4 a.m. I did do a lot of productive things. I did have days where I sat with no Wi-Fi and just fully dedicated myself to recording videos, war mode, fully productive all day, didn't reply to no notifications, nothing, I was on it. This task, next task, next task, just completely smooth with it. I had those days too. What do I always tell you guys? Balance is vital. You do not have to wake up at 4 a.m. every single day, take cold showers, meditate, not watch porn. You don't have to do any of this shit and you can still be a multimillionaire. We've all seen the millionaires that are fat and out of shape. You don't have to go to the gym to make money. It helps. And yes, you should want to be almost like a James Bond kind of figure where every single statistic is maxed out, but you don't have to. There is no set way. Remember that. So don't feel guilty because Andrew Tate says you need to do this, but you don't do it because you don't really feel like it aligns with your lifestyle or your religion, maybe. Don't feel guilty. You don't have to do anything. I've just made £10,000 in one month. And I've pretty much spent the entire month doing everything opposite to what the self-improvement nerds speak about. Boozing, getting drunk, Halloween parties, fucking eating takeaway. Staying up for four in the morning watching Netflix with my girl, waking up late the next day. I've done this shit. And do you know what? My ideology on life, my philosophy, my outlook on the world is to experience life and to enjoy it. Those two things are the only things that I believe my purpose in life is. To experience the world as, in as many different ways as possible. And that might include some negative things such as trying drugs. Drinking alcohol every now and then because I enjoy it and it's fun. I'm not going to come on the camera and tell you to be an extremist. Oh, you have to cut out alcohol for the rest of your life if you want to make money. Bro, no, you fucking don't. I'm telling you that as a realist. No YouTuber is speaking about this. No one else is telling you this, right? And the only one that's here actually spitting this facts. You do not need to do that. I've had nights where I've been drunk, absolutely wasted, stumbling about. And then the same night when I got home, still drunk with my head fucking spinning, I've made more money than most people do in an entire month. I've done that. Well, that's not an over-exaggeration. It's to make sure very... Now, you don't have to live like this. I'm not preaching this lifestyle and telling you that booze is okay, eating takeaways okay, sleeping in 
all days okay i'm not saying these things are good I, i'm well aware of the negative side effects to these things i'm very very well aware of how it could negatively affect my life however sometimes every now and then it's just enjoyable sometimes every now and then as an entrepreneur and i have the privilege to do this because i've worked for it i can give myself a day off and have a lie-in and then when i wake up then i'll crack on with my work i don't have to wake up at 4 a.m every morning it's good and it's fun every now and then and i like waking up before the sun sun rise or whatever and i like waking up before everyone else and getting all my shit done by lunchtime that's great I love being productive, but every now and then I love being comfortable and just sitting in. You don't have to do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it every single day. You don't have to be so militant with it. You can be if that's how you want to live your life. And that is the key point of this video that I want you to take away. Live life the way you want to live it. I like watching Netflix and eating Domino's every now and then with my girl. I love doing that. It's fun. I genuinely enjoy it. I look forward to it sometimes, right? At the same time, I like hunkering down for an entire week and doing nothing but work for a whole week, not talking to anyone, barely doing anything other than going to the gym and going for a run in the morning. That's the only time I leave my house. Other than that, I'm just working. I like doing that too. This is what I talk about, different experiences, different outlooks, different pr perspectives on life, right? Different ways of doing things. You don't have to do it in a set way. Just remember that, okay? Because I see a lot of you guys in the comments saying, oh, Luke, I didn't work out today. Or... Now, I believe in working out every single day. I believe in exercise every single day. I believe in getting your body moving every single day. Again, that's just me. That's how I want to live my life. You don't have to do that. If you miss the workout one day, is it really the end of the world? Are you really going to die and lose all your gains? No, so stop crying about it. Just crack on. Just do it the next day. Just do double the next day. Simple. Like, bro, you guys, a lot of the time, I think your main weakness, and this is why you're not making any fucking money, you're overcomplicating everything, believing that this is the key. This is the key. Meditate. Gratitude journal. Wow, wow, wow. Bro, I gratitude journal every now and then. I used to do it religiously. I used to feel guilty if I didn't gratitude journal and write three things I'm grateful for to get myself in a positive mindset, I used to feel guilty if I didn't do that. How toxic and unhealthy is that mindset? I didn't write some words on a piece of paper so I feel guilty for the rest of the day. How unhealthy is that mindset? That's not going to get make you successful. Of course it's not. You're operating in a negative vibration for the rest of the day. It's not going to attract any goodness to you. Every now and then, I'll sit down if I have time. Maybe sometimes I'll make time. And I'll decide, you know what, right now, I'm, let me just write down what I'm grateful for. Maybe when I'm eating my food or something like that. Every now and then I'll do it, but I don't live so religiously by it. This religious fucking, and I'm, to be clear, I'm not actually talking about religion in, it, in and of itself, but this religious military mindset, I have to do this every single day, every single day for the rest of my life or I'm not going to make money. It's not true. Bollocks. Live life the way you want to live it. If that means you want to live military-like and you want to monk mode or whatever you want to call it, if you want to live like that, fair enough, do it. I do it every now and then. I tap into it every now and then. Semen retention, all of that good stuff. I tap into it every now and then. Most of the time, I'm too busy having sex, bro. I get paid to do it, so fuck it. Do you know what I mean? Most of the time, I'm too busy eating Domino's pizza. Like, bro, I enjoy these things, so I'm going to do it every now and then. I'm not stupid. I don't indulge it every single day. I make up for it. I earn these things, but I don't live by this ritual of this tribe. I have to do this every day or I'm a failure. No, you don't, bro. Just get that out of your head, okay? Just keep that in mind. There is no set way of being successful. You can determine that yourself. You can literally create your own reality. And that's the beauty of life. I've created my perfect reality. I don't have to follow anyone else's framework. I make 10K a month and I can do that by eating Domino's pizza and boozing every now and then. That's my reality that I've decided I've created for myself. I've chosen that. And you choose your reality every day. You decide how you think and how you move and how you act. Your spiritual, mental, physical energy is all in alignment. You choose that every day. And I've chosen to make this my reality. If one day I want to give up booze for the rest of my life and I never want to drink again, I can choose to do that. And I did do that for a couple of months. You guys know that. So just keep that in mind. I honestly recommend just balance though. Balance is probably the most healthiest and best way you can live your life. If you want my actual advice, balance is the best way to do it. Earn the instant gratification. Earn the uh, bad habits, whatever you want to call them. Earn them. If you want to go out and, and drink alcohol this weekend, make sure for the weekday you're healthy, you're fasting, you're eating clean purified spring water right you're not sorry not purified yeah pure spring water that's the word i'm looking for isn't it yeah purified i think, I think that's the right one yeah <laughs> purified spring water <laughs> none of this tap water bullshit you you know we're healthy for a week and then yeah on the weekend go and booze go and get wasted go and enjoy it that's what it's there for you're supposed to enjoy it it's not supposed to be a thing you indulge or get addicted to i don't really believe in addiction i think it's bullshit but that's another video but it's supposed to be there for your own enjoyment. But you must make sure you earn it. That's how I recommend it. Balance, right? 80% of the time, yeah, you're working hard. You're doing your things. You're making your money. Your fitness is on point. You're healthy, etc., etc. You're fasting. You're eating clean foods. None of this processed shit. You're on it, right? But then, yeah, 20% of the time, enjoy your life. Because otherwise, what a boring fucking life you live. 
And you could argue, yeah, well, it's not boring for me. Fine, cool. For me, that's boring. Every now and then I want to eat some fucking shit food. I want to eat some sweets or Domino's takeaway or I want to drink some alcohol. I want to do that every now and then because it's fun and I enjoy it. And why are you restricting enjoyment from yourself? Do you know what I mean? They could argue, yeah, but it's not, it's, it's fake enjoyment. It's quick and instant gratification. Yeah, it is. But instant gratification, being a degenerate sometimes is fun. Every now and then I'll come and play fucking Fortnite with my boy or Rainbow Six Siege and just fucking shit on everyone in the lobby. That's fun every now and then. I don't do it every day. It's a very rare occurrence, but every now and then it's enjoyable. Health, healthy mindset is the best way to do it. I used to be like you, bro. I used to have that extremist. I've got to do this. I can never use social media again. Got to do, bro. All of this got to, got to. It's just bollocks. You can choose. You have free will. Remember that. Just because some fucking guy on the internet is telling you to do this doesn't mean that it's the only way of achieving success. Remember that. Coaching's down below. Fucking hell's a rant, wasn't it? Sexual Mastery course is also down below. That's a very, very good one. Check it out. See you soon. Boom.